and welcome to our show. It is Trending Stories. It is Monday morning. I'm back with Danny Gurry of Good Morning Frederick. Danny, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Lots happened over the weekend, and we do trending stories to get you caught up to date with uh, what's happening uh, before you get to work, if you're catching this uh, nice and early. If not, uh, well, I'll just get you caught up to things you might not have heard uh, over the weekend. Of course, you can hit share, like, comment. The more people that do that, the more it helps out. Uh, and uh, the algorithm, as they say, will uh, take us uh, to different places. So please do that or uh, leave a comment on any of these stories or anything you might want us to cover uh, in these trending stories each and every morning and of course it's monday so i have to start myself you know i'm a huge washington commanders fan i'm a homer i get it uh, we also you know we talk about the ravens here uh and oh, yeah. so yeah but uh the uh the commanders i mean just lambasted the uh, uh the carolina panthers uh, of course i sat in my seat all day and i had to pan excuse me i almost threw up there i had to panic <laughs> eat uh, because our quarterback that is saving the franchise oh, one yeah. step at a time uh, only lasted. Actually, it was really one play. If you go one back, play. if you go back, he hurt himself on the long play from the very first play. He ran 47 yards. I'm like, here we go. He got up looking a little weird, and then it was only one or two plays, and he was out. And the whole time, I'm just pacing back and forth. I ate a lot of stuff in my cabinets. Uh, I I don't know what happened. I think I got physically ill. And the rest nervous, of the game, nervous eating is never good. Oh man, I was just I, anything that I could get my hands on. Uh, and of course, it's like uh, it's his typical Washington uh luck uh, as soon as something good starts happening like terrible things are around the corner we get pro bowlers hurt like jonathan allen's out for the year now he gets hurt and at one time our left uh, tackle was out and we had diame brown and it, i'm just like here we go i mean it, so we can't even enjoy a 40 to win shellacking over the uh carolina panthers although it was uh, a good to see, and um, it was funny because uh, earlier this year, I have a buddy that I talk to all the time. We text back and forth constantly, and it's like, that part should be, we should videotape our texts because they're hysterical, but it's like, up until this season, I'm like, I wonder what it's like to watch a football game when it's like out of hand for your team, because normally it's like nine to eight with one minute left, and we have to <laughs> drive and kick up, so, yeah, so we, we've gotten past that, but I couldn't enjoy myself because I knew at the end of the day, Jaden Daniels was hurt. Uh, what, what, what were your thoughts on the Commanders game this weekend? Well, look, I thought it was amazing, although I do believe maybe a local high school team could beat the Carolina Panthers right now. But I True. do think that um, Jaden, was, he was mad that he had to go out, so I don't know how badly he was hurt, and it doesn't look like he like broke a rib or anything like that because even on the sidelines he looked like People were hugging him and stuff, and he wasn't, like, wincing in pain. So I'm hoping it was just a strain somewhere uh, and that he'll recover. And I'm glad we didn't put him back in because, oh, my God, we have a backup quarterback that can actually play football. Yeah, it's funny because uh, if you look at the big picture, Marcus Mariota, uh, if you just take – Jaden Daniels out of the picture the last 10 years I think he's the best quarterback we've had in the last 10 years and he's our backup he didn't look great early uh but boy once he got into a uh a rhythm I'm telling you because the uh, first few of my tweets were like this is going to end badly this guy sucks uh but then you, he did. you fired too quickly you <laughs> fired too let the kid get in there and, get, and do what he needs to do yeah he did now uh, prove me wrong now, there now I do have to bring up the fact that um, the women on TikTok would really love for Sam to get in. Oh, dude, Our they love third <laughs> string quarterback is like the hottest thing. He beats Travis Kelsey. He's going to bring more women to the NFL. We got to keep showing him on the sidelines. Let him do a little running. Let that wind blow through his hair. <laughs> he is like the epitome of the hot football player. I don't, poor guy. I mean, I'm sure he's probably pretty poor good, Poor guy. He's like, dude, <laughs> this is the best. Uh, listen, he, he, yeah. he, he, not to cut you off, but it's a typical female. Now, listen, I will say this. 
Uh, the man is, is he stunning? As another man, I can tell you, he's a very, I look at that guy. I'm like, man, he looks like what I wanted to look like when I was uh, younger. Uh, but, uh, he's, he's, he's been that way for a while. And there's a a small undertone on TikTok. Not, not maybe small now, but boy, every single video is about who is this guy standing on the sidelines? Who is this guy on the sidelines? And I love the slow-mo with the wind (laughs) blowing through his hair. I mean, really. But it is a really cool story, right? So he's 30, I think, or 30 something. Mm, yeah, well, he's cl- I mean, he's older for sure. Yeah. And uh and uh came from Notre Dame, right? Yeah. And that's pretty much all else I know about him. So well, other than I thought you were going to I thought you were going to get to the uh, the the really cool story is actually he had a uh, an adopted brother who actually uh passed away when he was in high school and he made a pact uh to him because he was a year older uh, and they were playing together that he cuz he wasn't going to keep playing quarterback because he wasn't really sure he wasn't really big enough or strong enough and so after his brother passed he made a pact uh to live out under his name and play as hard as he could and he really worked himself into uh going to a couple of different programs before he went to Notre Dame and had a had a great season and it really actually is a, a just a fantastic story oh uh, so now he's a great guy too I mean, there you guy, go geez. i mean it's like the he is guy. like the trifecta <laughs> i mean yeah so to add all that onto the top of uh of, of what he's doing but he's actually a decent quarterback as well and yeah. he's learning and hopefully as much as i love him and the I, girls do, I hope we never see him for no, a while I, so. I would just like him to keep walking the sidelines though. that'd be good but <laughs> yeah. anyway look it was really i mean i don't even remember the last time the commanders scored 40 points they were not called the commanders whenever they did it though i can tell you that for sure and uh touchdown after touchdown uh really really once uh Marietta is it Marietta 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 yeah, yeah once he got going uh and felt comfortable back there he was running he was moving he was getting out of trouble and uh making some passes although a few of the passes did look like me trying to throw over a line he did a little bit of them jump things but lobbing them up there but um yeah. you know our receivers helped him out and pulled it down and really look I couldn't couldn't be happier. I was glad Jaden didn't look as hurt as it may have been, and uh, hopefully he'll just be back. And yeah, you know. well, I saw him raise his hands on the sideline when a touchdown happened, so I was like, okay, I, I think he's going to be okay. And we got the most important update now. Dan Quinn is not saying a word. He's instructed none of the teammates to say a word because no one's kept their. They've all kept their mouth shut. But you know who said he's fine? Is his mom. Uh, ah, she, well, she Mama tweeted, knows. <laughs> she tweeted, "Jaden's fine. He'll be great." And so everyone is a little bit more relaxed. I do want to say this, and and I and I always uh, have to say uh, because. Looking as a whole as our franchise, we uh, obviously were the joke of the league for almost 20 years. Uh, we have been the epitome of what a bad franchise is about mm. from a number of things. But just in, let's just say, in when we uh, had uh, Fletcher, uh, London Fletcher inducted, I don't know, he got inducted to the Ring of Fame. We didn't we didn't retire his jersey, but I think it was Ring of Fame. We spelled his name London Flector, which is just <laughs> the epitome of what the old Redskins slash Washington Commanders have done, but they, I don't yeah. know if you watched the Daryl Green halftime. If you didn't, they posted it on the commander's website. And and it's such a stark difference between yeah. now, and I don't want to make this whole thing about a, a football program, but just the way they inducted him and the way it was. And Josh Harris actually got applauded at halftime. It just is so yeah. refreshing to see where we're going. It's so exciting to be a commander's fan right now. It is. It is. I still, it's very difficult for the name for me, but yeah, I, I agree a hundred percent. And it was really, it's a really fun game to watch boy. It really, other than the Jaden Daniels, you know, stress part. But other than that, it was great. It was. All right. Well, what do you got on your trending stories here this morning for us? Well, I don't know. I've sent you a bunch of things. You're going to have to throw me something. <laughs> okay. Not uh, the one that made you cry. We'll, I mean, we'll, maybe we'll end with that. Uh, yeah. I mean, geez, dude. Uh, I know. Well, there's some horrible stories coming out of North Carolina, and it's the truth is not being told in mainstream media, and that is the worst part. Uh, yeah. What some of these rescuers are finding uh, down there is really, truly heartbreaking. Uh, well, let's first go to something that's fun uh, okay. because uh, I like fun first. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's go to this story. Have you seen this one? Uh, <laughs> I love this. I really wish I lived near one of these. This is uh, aptly titled when the HOA didn't specifically say no to fire or lasers. 
Uh, if I had money, this is probably why God doesn't give me money. But if I had money, I'd be doing this right here. Well, uh, one of the comments was, if I won the lottery, there'd be signs. And <laughs> this guy just goes all out, time to ACDC. And I'm telling you, I absolutely love it. I yeah. think this is great. I think when people do this at Christmas time, it's great. And with Halloween just around the corner, I think it's awesome. Yeah, one of my favorite uh, comments is the very first one. You know this house has full-size candy bars. <laughs> Unless they spend all their money on those lights and lasers, but <laughs> probably not. Yeah, Laura, That's not a Halloween decor. That's a full-blown concert. Uh, it is. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, I just think those are awesome. I think people are so creative. And the fact that that stuff, Ash, Keep saying he's going to do that to our house at Christmas, but I'll, I'm waiting to see it. So. I mean, are you going to let him do that? or? Sure, why not? <laughs> so we have another I will probably get something from our HOA, though. Who knows? Uh, yeah, for sure uh, on that one. Uh, all right, let's go to uh, one that I uh, I put on here now. Uh, this, is, uh, this is what it's kind of like to be a Commanders fan, so we'll let this one play here. Uh, but uh, tell me what you uh, think about uh, this is uh, in, I, I'm close to Cleveland. So they traded their really only good player from the Browns, Amari Cooper. And this is what happened when this kid found out. Um, so today, Amari Cooper got traded. Was traded. It means that he's not on the Cleveland Browns anymore. This is how I felt every year as a commander yeah. right here. Right here. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> I, know, I mean, seriously, it's really it is. It's. Oh yeah, yeah. He goes. Oh, uh, now here, uh, here is the fun part. Again, uh, what I love about TikTok are the uh, comments. Yeah, got to take away that Nerf gun from him because he's ready to end it all. <laughs> Which, <laughs> and here's my favorite. Now tell him Watson is still playing. Uh, oh that, is, that is now tell him Deshaun Watson still the quarterback. That uh, yeah, takes it all. I mean, I tell you, it is so relieving to not be the butt of a lot of these jokes this right? year so far. Yeah, that is the the best thing about uh, you know. I was telling my that's what I tell my buddy. I was like, you know, the best thing about because now when you see dysfunction in other, you can you can totally spot it because it's oh, so yeah. easy. Oh yeah, we've lived it for so long. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so there you go. That uh, that's kind of what it's like to be uh, a Commanders fan. All right, let's get to uh, this one here. I think uh, uh, that you put out on the board. Let's see what is this one? Did you? Oh, this is a first roller coaster. So this is the. Uh, hey, I can't wait. This is the kid who's. <laughs> oh, I really want to be on the coaster. Let's yeah. just watch. Watch All the right. experience. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh, it Are always starts scared? with excitement. No. Arms up. No. Okay, here we go. Ready, Freddy? Yes. Jeez, kid. And we're... All everybody. Remember, King <laughs> on Freddy, here we go. And have all cell phones by the way. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, here we yeah. go. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, yeah, go on up. It's good. Go on up like, is good. Not that bad yet. Not that bad. Everything is cool. And you don't even have that like herky jerky like when we used to go up with the chain link. Oh yeah, on the rebel yell. Now it's all very smooth, but yeah, yeah wasn't that a good well, Not so good now. Okay. Not so good. Here we go. <laughs> not so good now. Here we go. Contemplating life's choices right here. Here we go. Look, her face doesn't even change. It just she looks. <laughs> Boy, there we go. Oh, now we're good. Thank uh, God roller coasters are only about 18 seconds long now. Anyway, you wait in that line for two hours. Yeah. You got a 20-second uh, roller coaster ride. Listen, not to keep bringing the program back to football, but that is every year as a Commanders fan. That's how, that's like a time <laughs> lapse. That is. I start that excited. is the epitome of you every year. Oh, preseason. Yes. Oh, we're yeah, going to win it all. We're going to win it all it. immediately. First um, game. Immediately. <laughs> Immediately, God says, nope, sorry. <laughs> Immediately, no. <laughs> so, uh, so there you go. 
Uh, all right, those are just some of your fun trending stories uh, happening on this uh, very day today. Danny, uh, thanks for uh, joining us here. We appreciate you bringing laughter and fun. And, uh, of course, uh, if you can leave shares, likes, comments, we would love that. Any uh, any motivational statements, questions, comments, motivational statements you have for us before we get on for our morning here? Well, I just got to say, I thank uh, Frederick so much for the support. You know, we're now shooting for 1,500 subscribers by the end of the year. By <laughs> New Year's, January 1, 2025, I'd love to have 1,500 subscribers. And you guys have been so great about supporting me all the time, and I know we can do it. So. All right. Well, let's hit that subscribe button. We can do it. Danny's got uh, news from Frederick and uh, around the surrounding areas all day, every day right here. And it's uh, big, becoming like a little news channel here, which is pretty awesome and inspiring. So, uh, yeah. yeah, nice job yeah. on that. Uh, all right. We're out of here. That is your trending stories for this Monday. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. We do appreciate you uh, stopping by and checking this out each and every day. Trending steady. It's trending on Twitter. It's huge. It's trending all over the internet.